If you're a busy IT professional in today's fast-moving business landscape, you've most likely got enough on your plate when it comes to managing end-user equipment like business phones and meeting room solutions. Now, with the rise of the hybrid workplace, where employees work both from home and the office, these device management challenges have increased exponentially. So, what's the best way to stay on top of everything? Say hello to the Audio Codes Device Manager. In this movie, we'll focus on a number of use cases demonstrating the strength of the Audio Codes Device Manager. This is the Audio Codes OVAC Device Manager home screen. This home screen is actually a dashboard which gives the IT manager a view of the entire deployment. The dashboard shows the number of managed devices, how many are registered, non-registered, and disconnected. This is very helpful to the IT manager. In addition, the dashboard also provides different view options of the managed devices by geographic location, by tenants, by models, and by firmware version. There's an option to dive into a certain filter. For example, in the model Pi filter, the IT manager can click a certain model, like the C455HD, and then enter the device status page of all C455HDs in the organization. There, a more detailed status summary is presented, including registration status, firmware version, last update status, IP and MAC address, and more. Let's select one of the C455 HD devices in the list and take a look of what kind of actions can be performed on the device via the OVAC device manager. One of the most common actions to perform on a managed device is to trigger an upgrade. Under Actions, just click Update Firmware, select the firmware, and press Update. After the firmware update is done, the device will show its new firmware in the list of devices. Let's talk about a typical use case which can be executed via the Setup page. The Setup page is used for various maintenance and provisioning on a single device or group of devices. For example, let's focus on updating firmware, which can be done either manually with a firmware image file or via a procedure called Latest Firmware Versions. In this page, you can find a large list of possible latest files located in the cloud and managed by audio codes that are organized under tabs like Skype for Business, Generic SIP, Teams, and third-party devices. In the Teams folder, you can find a list of Teams devices for which you can download the latest version and also the latest version details which are located in the cloud. You can either select the Get Latest Teams Versions button on the bottom, or you can select specifically which devices, based on your organization's deployment, that you would like to upgrade to the latest version. Once you select the devices, the image files are downloaded and the upgrade starts. Next, let's spend some time with the second option, which is the Manual Update option. With this update method, you have to download the firmware image file in advance to update your deployment. The simplest way is to use the default firmware files. Note that the default firmware is marked with red and the name of the model. You can select C450HD default image file, and a menu is opened allowing you to browse and upload the firmware file for the C450HD. Alternatively, I can upload a specific firmware file, not under default, and be able to trigger a firmware update to a device or group of devices. I click Add Device Firmware, give a name to this firmware like C455HD and the version number, add a meaningful description and upload the relevant firmware file via the Continue to Upload button. Now, see how via the monitor page I can select a group of C455 HD devices by filtering C455 HD and then select a firmware version which will be updated to all the devices. In this case, I selected a version I uploaded in advance as shown before, last, and then I press update. The IT manager can also view a specific device with the show info option. From the monitor page, select a device, click Actions, and select Show Info. This brings you to a more detailed view of an individual device. In the Summary tab, you can see information about the device type, hardware description, 
whether or not the device supports Bluetooth, and more. In the Network Info tab, you can see the MAC address, IP, subnet, and VLAN. The Version Info tab provides more details about the various application versions, and a dedicated Alarms tab presents alarms which derive from this device. On the top right part of the page, you can see four other useful actions, like Collect Log, Update Software, Restart, and Refresh. Press on Collect Logs, and the debug logs are automatically downloaded. Update Software opens the menu for singular firmware updates. Restart restarts the specific device, and Refresh will refresh all types of data. Let's search for an RXV100 Teams meeting room device, which has a more complex view. You can see how easy it is to search for RXV100 devices in the search line. Select RXV100 and then Show Info. Here you can see a view of all the peripheral devices connected to the RXV100 hub, such as the RX50 audio device, the camera, and more. We'll be releasing new capabilities which will allow you to view dedicated alarms coming from the meeting space device and also support the option to upgrade the peripherals firmware. A new training video dedicated to the meeting space peripheral management will be available around that same time frame. I would like to take you to a real-life scenario where an IT department manages new devices that were just redirected to the device manager. Devices which are part of a tenant called France. The IT manager can perform a bulk firmware upgrade for those newly installed devices even before those devices are registered to the team server. As you can see, the phones were redirected to the device manager via the audio codes redirect server. You can see the device manager URL configured in the redirect server. Now, back in the device manager, you can see all the devices which are now part of the France tenant. Even if the devices are not signed into Teams, the IT manager can go ahead and select all the devices. You can see in the list that the devices are not running the latest firmware version and upgrade to the latest GA version of the C470HD in this case. All the devices received this command. Now, you can see that all the C470HD native Teams phones are now in upgrading mode. And now the upgrade is done. All four C470HD native Teams phones that are part of the France tenant are now running the latest firmware version 1.14.449 point. I would like to finish this training video with some general presentation modes such as network topology and additional filtering options that the audio codes device manager offers. From the monitor page, you can browse to network topology. Network topology shows a map of all the organization's devices organized by subnets or sites. For example, this view can allow you to quickly observe critical issues, devices which are marked with red color, and the IT manager can zoom closer to each device to see its status. In addition, there are some sophisticated filters. On the dashboard level, you can see the four basic pie chart filters, sites, tenants, models, and firmware. But under the monitor page, you have the ability to use more complex filter options. For example, all the phones with a certain subnet IP address Another possible filter is to present all the instances of a specific device, such as the C455HD, which are in registered status and are using a specific firmware version, which can be selected from the pull-down menu. The IT manager can also filter by tenant, site, and per the configuration template which was applied to certain devices. And there is also an option to control the number of devices which are presented in the list you can easily present all C470 HD phones and present the first 50 phones which are properly registered to Teams. Each time you define the filter option or options, you press Filter in order to refresh the list and display the list of devices per the defined filter. Each filtered list can be exported to a CSV file. The last topic I would like to cover is VIP. With Audio Codes OVAC, IT can define specific devices as VIP. For example, 
native team's desk phones that belong to a key person in the company, like the CEO, or meeting room devices. This automatically raises urgent alarms whenever a service failure related to those VIP devices is observed. From the monitor screen of the OVAC Device Manager, you can search for a device or a specific username. Then, from the Action submenu, press More and then click the option Set as VIP. Once the monitor screen is refreshed, you can see that the device is now defined as VIP. Managing alarms for VIP devices is done via the Alarms page. Under Alarms, select Forwarding to add a rule for forwarding alarms from VIP devices. Define the rule name and via Rule Conditions, select VIP Endpoint Users from the Alarm Origin pull-down menu. Then, define a destination by email, for example, with a specific IT user and mailing list which will receive an email notification for every alarm that originates from a VIP device.